Welcome to a tutorial video on Unity 2023. So let's pick off where we left off in the last video. That is thinking about collectibles. Now I didn't necessarily use that term in the last video, but that's what we landed on mechanics wise. So often when we talk about game design, we use mechanics in a little more abstract sense. We might say things like collectibles or quests or other things. Implementing those in code requires us to understand how Unity does things. So we landed last time by thinking about Unity's use of user interface game objects. So we created two of those. We created one and one was created for us. So we created a text user interface game object. And what was created for us was a canvas game object. Now the canvas is where the text will be drawn and it defines that area. One of the things we did in the previous video is we went up to the canvas and we changed its screen space to the camera so that the score will always be shown up here in the top left. So down here in the text, we have a corresponding score, score zero. Now, as set up in a previous video, every time we collide with a game object, we're increasing score by one right here, and then we're updating right here score based on, right here, the text mesh pro, TMP, text object right here called score and we're using of course serialized field to allow us to access it in this file and also within unity itself what we've created though is a kind of collectible game or or at least movement towards that mechanic so let's talk a little bit about how we can improve what we have so far so if we play this we're going to notice something a little bit different so when we play Good news, there are three yellow circles right here, one of which is being instantiated from its existence as a prefab and two of which exist within the scene. So right here, one and two, and of course we're making the third. So at least for right now, I don't actually want that anymore in the code. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out right here. And then we're gonna take out this instantiate line right here. And in fact, we're gonna go ahead and take out debug as well. And we'll take out these two debugs right here. Okay, and I'm going to go to File and Save. So we've reduced stuff a little bit. In previous videos, we were using debug log to check things and verify we were getting messages as part of the console view within Unity. We were giving ourselves information as developers that the player wasn't necessarily seeing. We don't really need those anymore. We've done multiple videos at this point, and we have everything kind of set up the way we want. So let's talk a little bit about how collectibles work by replaying this and then talking through what exactly is happening. So when we talk about collectibles in a game, generally we have some type of other objects in some space, so 2D or 3D, and we generally collide with them to collect them. You might think about this as Pac-Man with the various kind of pellets or pills we're being collected. You might also think about Mario with coins or health packs in other games or any number of large number of examples that exist out in the world in video games. In all of those cases, almost always, although not always, or generally not always, we are interacting with things and we're doing that interaction through a collision. And so we've actually now seen that we can create collisions, or that is we can use collisions within Unity by setting up colliders and setting up rigid bodies. The body is giving mass to the collisions so that they register. So we gave in a far previous video, a rigid body, a body that has mass for the physics system to this red square I'm moving around right here. And then we were able to finally detect collisions by colliding with the corresponding components of those game objects. So we created the game objects and then gave it the colliders we were looking for to register collisions. So I just did a bit of a collectible right here by moving the red square into the space that the collider component defined for that corresponding game object. When I did that, I increased or otherwise changed another value. In this case, I changed score. So put another way, what exactly is collectible mechanics within Unity? Well, one of the ways to approach it is to do it like I have just shown. That is, you set up some game objects as the thing being collected, and you set up another game object as the thing that's doing the collecting, generally the thing doing the colliding, 
and then we update or change some value. In most games, we're collecting things like coins or health or whatever, and so we're generally increasing a value, but we could also correspondingly decrease, and that wouldn't be too much of a change. Let's think a little bit, though, about different types of collectibles. So how would we differentiate, that is, make some type of difference, of multiple game objects within the same scene? So right now, our code is very general. Whenever we collide with something else, we then remove it from the scene. And just to kind of review that, that's this code right here. When we interact with something else, when on collision enter 2D is triggered, then we just destroy that thing, we increase the score right here, and then we update the score text. Which is fine if the only thing we're ever going to collide with are the things we're going to collect and ultimately destroy. But there might be some cases where we want some type of difference. Maybe when we collect one thing, it gives us one value. We collect another thing, it gives us another value. Maybe some things decrease and some things increase. So we can start to move in that direction by working with something that's kind of been in front of us, but I've not really mentioned. And that is extra things that are part of the inspector view for game objects. So I'm going to go ahead and point this out. So I've selected the circle game object from the hierarchy view, and we're going to look at it over here in the inspector view. So I've noticed, or I've mentioned previously, the various components, transform, this is sprite renderer, it's a sprite, and we added the collider so we can get kind of the collision information. And then there's this thing up here. So this is the name, but then it has these two things right here, tags and layers. Now we're particularly interested in tags for this video because tags allow us to very quickly group a set of game objects under a particular label called a tag. And we can create a whole bunch of tags in Unity for particular things. And this allows us to differentiate, again, make a difference between two game objects that otherwise might be very similar and do similar things, but have one central difference between them, what tags they have. So notice it says untag, and I'm going to go ahead and click this dropdown. And then it has some built-in tags that we might want to use. Respawn, finish, editor only, main camera, player, game controller, and add tag. So I'm going to add a tag. And it says this list is empty because it currently has a list of things we can add. So I'm going to click the plus right here. And it's going to be give me the ability to name it. I'm going to name it coin. And click save. So now it has coin, and these are all of the tags we have available across the entire game. So I'm going to come back over to circle, come back over here to tag, and now I have coin that I added to right here. I want to give it coin. So this particular game object now has a tag called coin. If I click on circle one, which was duplicated before I signed the tag, it doesn't have this tag. So it has everything else the other game object has, except the tag. The tag is now different between these. So now we have one type of thing in a scene and another type of thing in the scene, and they are nearly identical except for the tag. So how would we differentiate between collectibles? Well, one of the ways we can do that is potentially check their tags. What tags do they have? And so let's do that. So over here in the code, what I'm interested in is I want to write some type of conditional that checks the C if the thing we're colliding with, so the red square touching a yellow circles collider, has the tag we're looking for. So how do we do that? Well, we know right here we can get collision game object. And I've just told you, or at least pointed it out in the inspector view, that game objects, when we click on them, have tags. So what if we said if, and now tag, and this says, hey, what are you looking for? We can't convert between string to bool. So what, what does tag get us right here? This is the tag of the game object. So what if tag is equal to coin? And if so, I want to destroy collision game object like that. And we want to increase the score also in here. So I've used uh, Control-X and Control-V on Windows, 
or if you're on Mac, that would be Command X and Command V to very quickly copy and paste this, or cut and paste this. So we're saying, hey, right here, collision game object tag right here, string value is equal to coin right here, two equal signs, we're interested in this. Then we're going to destroy it and increase the score. If it isn't, we're not gonna do anything. So let's go ahead and file, save, okay? Come back to Unity, give it just a moment to reload everything, perfect. So circle as coin, circle one does not have that tag. Go ahead and bump into this one down here. Notice if we're just bumping into it. So nothing is really happening, but if we do this, bloop, it disappeared. So we previously talked about collectibles or as things we interact with, things generally we collide with, Pac-Man colliding with pellets or pills and Mario colliding with coins to collect them. But we also interested in what kind of thing it is. So potentially if we have a bunch of coins in a scene for Mario, we're running around collecting coins, we want to know is this worth one coin, 10 coins, or some other coins? Or is it some other thing that we might want to collect and do something with? But we might have a whole bunch of different collectibles. So how do we organize them? Well, as this vo video points out, we can use tags to do that. And notice we have, corresponding right here, tags we can create by coming down to tag and add tag for an entire game. And when we work with this, we can create a bunch of different tags that we can then use. So by default, it's untagged, but we can create the tags we want. And I created coin. And now with our changed code, when we collide with a game object and that game object is a coin or has the tag coin, we go ahead and destroy it. We collect it by increasing the score correspondingly. Notice though, we were kind of most of the way there in a previous video. So we have game objects and they have colliders and we have at least one game object that has a rigid body. That is something that has mass. The rigid body collides with colliders producing a collision. And because we're in 2D, on collision into 2D would then happen. Now we're checking tags. Hey, is this a coin? Or maybe in the future, is this health? Or maybe in the future, is this a threat? Or is this an enemy? Whatever that we're colliding with, we're now going to filter in some way. And this is how we can start to do that. Because notice this is just a very general game object. We're just colliding with something potentially that has a collider on it. We don't know what it is until we look at its tag. Is this a coin? Is this lava? Is this a spike? Is this something else? So tags give us a way to think about and separate potentially things we want to react to, potential collisions, spikes, lava, whatever, hazards, and collectibles based on their tags. So one of the ways we can start to sort through how we're collecting things within Unity based on giving it a particular tag that has meaning to it. In this case, I've set up coin as an example of that tag. We are checking to see, does this game object have this tag? Is the tag equal to coin? Okay, it is, now do something. If it isn't, don't do anything. So now let's return to this and wrap up this video right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this color from yellow to, let's change it to kind of a black. Now the reason I'm doing this is so we are now making a visual difference to the player. The thing we're collecting is yellow, the thing that's are black, we're not collecting. So now we have not only a difference visually, but also a difference in code using the corresponding tags. So we've created a system of collectibles, or at least towards a system of collectibles as part of this video by thinking through how we use our knowledge of the physics system, working with colliders to do on collision enter 2D, and then as part of that, using tags to better filter our things we're colliding with. Am I colliding with spikes or lava or coins? If I'm colliding with coins, I do this. If I'm colliding with something else, potentially I do something else. But at least in this video, when we collide with coins, we are increasing a score and creating a collectible mechanic. We're doing all of this, as I've talked about in this video, in Unity 2023. Thanks for watching.